So what is the YouTube community tab anyways, and why should you use it? It's a way to get more people on YouTube to see your content, and you don't even have to make more videos to do it, so stick around. And welcome to Entrepreneur's Toolbox. I'm Jonathan Dunkerley, and I'm here to help you find the tools to make an income online. The YouTube community tab is a feature that allows you to make posts kind of like Facebook posts on YouTube. And once you hit 500 subscribers within a week or so, the community tab will automatically be added. You used to get this tab at a thousand subscribers and YouTube recently cut it in half, which is pretty awesome. But why should you use this feature? Do you really need one more thing to do? I say yes. One of the things about the YouTube community tab is that the posts get pushed in front of people that aren't necessarily subscribed to your channel yet. This makes it so you could put new content in front of your audience and future audience without creating an entirely new video for your channel. There are also different types of posts. The first one I wanted to talk about is a text post. So if you want to do a text post, all you need to do is go up to the top of your screen. You're going to go, there's this little tiny square. It looks like a camera with a little plus in it. You're going to click that. And if you are able to post in the community tab, you're going to be able to see this option says create a post. If you are not able to yet, it just won't be there. So click that and you're going to be given by default text. You can type whatever you want. I find that questions work really well for just the text option. So you could say like, uh, what are you doing to grow your YouTube channel? Let us know in the comments. So then you could either just post it right away and or you could just schedule it. I like scheduling posts out for weeks and weeks in advance. So you can go to schedule. I have the next couple of weeks already scheduled and you see I have three weeks worth of one post a week scheduled and then you could just schedule the time and hit schedule and then you don't even have to think about it. Just get a bunch of these done and then they just auto post just like your normal YouTube videos. When you're ready, just hit schedule or you could have just posted it. If you need something more eye catching, you could post something like an image or a GIF. So if you want to upload an image, you just click image and I would recommend you still have some text, even if it's an image. You could put up to five images into your post, but I usually only do one. You could do photos or you can do GIFs and they recommend that it's either two by five or five by two is the best aspect ratio that they want. But if you don't have an image that you can go, you can go to sites like Giphy and you could find GIFs and you could actually find ones that will work that are relevant to what you're trying to post. Just search for what you wanna post. So maybe YouTube, I'm talking about YouTube. So let's talk, up, see what they have for YouTube. Any of these things, maybe this is what I want. I want something just to grab somebody's attention. Click this. I could save this to my computer and then I could post it on YouTube. So now I could add a little bit of text right here, add this GIF, and then I can just go and either post it or just like before I could schedule the post and not have to worry about it. And it could just get a whole bunch of them done ahead of time. If you're getting value from this video, be sure that you smash that like button, drop a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time the new video goes live. The third way that you could post on the community tab is with polls. And personally, I feel that polls are the most important posts that you could make. This is an amazing way to find out what videos you're audience wants you to make next. Now for polls, these are one of my favorite ones out of all the different ways that you could use the community tab because it's a way to find out what types of videos people will actually want you to be making. So I have like a couple different polls that I've scheduled, like what is the best way to make money on YouTube? So I find that people will say different things and then I can just go like, oh wait, they all said this and they believe this so I can make a video based off of what their answers are. And to do it, all you do is you just click poll. You give it a question. It could be a question of like, how many videos do you upload a week? How about like one, two, and you can go up to five different options. Three, four, five plus, there you go. Now you have five different options and you could post it or schedule it. And for the fourth way to post on the community tab, you could promote old videos. Just because a video is older doesn't mean that it doesn't have value. You can introduce old videos to new audience members, keeping those old videos alive and helping new audience members. Now to promote old videos, you just click videos and you could either search for videos. You could just paste the URL for a YouTube video, or you could just search for videos of your own. So if I wanted to promote this video, I would just click it 
and then hit select and it would do this. I could add some text and I could schedule and post it. Promoting old videos that you've done or even ones that you've done recently could be ways to get them in front of audiences that just haven't seen them yet. And you could serve your audience even if they were not subscribed to your channel when you posted the video yet. Now, this isn't something you need to do every day. Just schedule out your posts, do as many as you want to do per week, and you'll probably see a difference in your channel. Are you gonna start posting in the community tab? Let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, check out this video next. If you got value, be sure that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and I will see you in the next one.